At this point, we're ready to uh, test in analytics, but I first wanted to give you kind of a summary of what we've all been through. Um, so we went to settings and event tracking. We set up Google Tag Manager to track UTM variables, and we also used a plugin to install Tag Manager, which is optional um, if you have Tag Manager already installed some other place. And uh, I showed you how to get your uh, GTM ID and then set the forms as AJAX only. And then on the form itself, um, we want to set up a feed. So that's under settings, event tracking. And in the feed settings, you can ignore this UAID. It doesn't, it's use, useless with Tag Manager. Uh, we set up an event category form, action of submission, and then created an entry label with some parameters. And we left the entry value blank. And then in Tag Manager, we set up all these variables to capture, for example, the action, the category, um, the label value, um, and then the UTM parameters also. And then we created a Gravity Forms uh, trigger because uh, it's going to pass DF track event. And then we created a tag that will send all this information as event parameters over to Google Analytics. So let's go ahead and go to Google Analytics and we'll do a real-time test to make sure that everything's coming in okay. So we're gonna do a couple of form submissions. And let me just make sure my cache is clear real quick because I just published my container for Tag Manager. Always a good idea to clear your cache after you modify Tag Manager. So that'll just take a second. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out this information. And just put in some test data here. Submit. And I got to warn you, Google Analytics real time is not as in real time as Google Analytics version 3, at least not in my experience. So it might take a, a second for these to come up. Um, let's see here. I set an event for GForm submission. This will be my second one, so it should pop up as a two and hopefully soon. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. All right, so it's not perfect. Um, you can see GForm submission has two events now. You can uh, go in and see the data that was passed. Then action would be submission, then the label would be, you know, the entry ID, form ID, and the form title. Event value would be zero. And then there's a, several other ones in here. Uh, you got medium, which is just test, and term, which is uh, gravity forms. And you'll see that we don't have a uh, conversion by event name. So what we'll have to do is add it in. So we'll go to configure, and then we'll go to conversions and then we'll set up a new uh, event and we want to make sure that it's the same event as this one so I'll just copy and paste that and then mark as a conversion or not check the true and then we're going to go into real time again and we're going to do another form submission make sure that conversion registers. So you're going to all already see that there's a kind of a big difference between version three and version four of analytics. And we are submitting a custom event and we're not using one of the pre-built ones. So this is by no means a uh, saying that you have to do it this way because you can use the regular event that Google Analytics has. But I just I find it easier just to get everything in just one custom event. That way you can run some reports to some custom metrics. So, okay, now it's three, and then we finally have our conversion. So what's going to happen when you try to run a report? Um, you're going to go to conversions and you're going to see uh, the event name and that generates a conversion 
and today is August 16, so I'll try to see if anything registered, but I don't have any data right now, so uh, that's just a, a way Google Analytics works. Sometimes it takes a, a while to get the data. So what you can do is you can go to uh, custom definitions and create uh, custom dimensions. And usually what I recommend here is like, say for example, we have, you know, event category. So that's going to be passed on. That could be a dimension. So dimension name could be, you know, custom uh, event category. And then it's going to say event user. So like, for example, up here, where you have user properties, you have event properties. Um, here's the event property and user property could be something else. And then I'll say gravity forms event category. And it's gonna say select an event parameter and you can scroll down and you can see event category right here. Hit save. And then let's do a UTM variable. Let's just pick on medium, for example. Medium event and uh, there should just be uh, medium in here. Okay, and that way you can have custom uh, dimensions when you do reports. I'll do another video after this that shows um, how to create reports for the conversions, but I'm not quite there yet, so please be patient with me. So that is it. We got our event to trigger and in, in real time. You can see we have a G form submission right here. And just uh, for sanity's sake, when you want a conversion, you just you add it in here. You do not add it in under events at all. Um, so that's it. And thank you for watching.